What's up guys, I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today for the first time on YouTube, I'm gonna be talking about Fefe. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm, I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so since the video I made yesterday, Bitcoin has gotten absolutely hammered. It was at 62,000 and then it fell all the way down to like 58,000. And now it's back up to 59,700. And if you look at the meme coin section over the last 24 hours, a lot of them got smashed as well. But if we take a look at Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, I do need to warn you guys, we have broken beneath the 200 day moving average. I was previously talking about how we were in a falling wedge and we were potentially going to get a bounce off of the 200 day. But then all of a sudden we had a massive red candle that was the size of like the previous 10 candles. And obviously that's not the kind of thing you like to see at all. But I will say, if you look at the four hour time frame, the RSI and Stochastics are both extremely oversold. It's also the same thing for the eight hour time frame. So over the next day or so, I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin does get a bounce. But unfortunately, I want to be crystal clear. I will not be bullish on Bitcoin until we get back above the 200 day moving average. I've been telling you guys this is a very important level. So now that we have lost it, I have to shift bearish. But I do also want to be crystal clear. That is just really in the short term. If you look at the larger time frames, like the 10 day time frame, it is a completely different story. And this is extremely important for you guys to actually understand. So obviously Bitcoin had this super explosive run up and then ever since it's just been consolidating and we're basically forming a giant bull flag and bull flags break up 68% of the time. And if this bull flag were to theoretically break out, it would have a measure move up to about 119,000. Now just understand there probably would be heavy resistance around that $97,000 to $100,000 range because of a psychological barrier. But there's a chance by the time October and November roll around that Bitcoin is absolutely flying. The RSI and Stochastics are both oversold and have legs to push up, and there's a Class C bullish divergence. That is very rare on this large of a time frame. So just don't let these current market conditions shake you out of your highest conviction plays. But now we'll go ahead and take a look at Fefe. And before I even start talking about Fefe, I want to be crystal clear. I posted a buy alert for this in my Discord five days ago at an $850,000 market cap. So there are a lot of people in my Discord right now that currently hold this project. I just want to be transparent about that. So anyways, Fefe is currently sitting at a $2.56 million market cap, and they're trading at a price point of two zeros and then six zero nine nine. So obviously we're up almost 200% from the buy alert. But anyways, what is Fefe? So basically, if you come over to their website, Fefe is a laid back and carefree frog living in a whimsical world embodying the playful and surreal essence of the book Mind Viscosity, published in 2020 by renowned artist Matt Fury. So as most of you guys probably know, Matt Fury has been one of the hottest narratives in crypto. He's the creator of Pepe. And as most of you guys know at this point, Pepe is currently sitting at a $3.3 billion market cap and it had reached over $7 billion. It's currently the third largest meme coin. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see Hoppy, which is another frog that Matt Fury created. And Hoppy is actually a part of another book called The Night Riders. And then you have Pepe, which is obviously a part of The Boys Club. So that's what's super fascinating about this. Matt Fury has three different books. He has The Boys Club, which has Pepe, The Night Riders, which has Hoppy, and then Mind Viscosity, which has Fefe. So there's the three Matt Fury frogs. Now, obviously, Pepe and Hoppy are both significantly bigger than Fefe. As I showed you, Fefe is currently only a $2.5 million market cap. Hoppy is over $27 million and Pepe is over $3.3 .3 billion. So this is naturally going to be the highest risk out of all of the Matt Fury frogs. And I do want to make this clear to all of you guys because I've posted a lot of videos about Hoppy. Personally, Hoppy is still my favorite out of all of the frogs. I think the token distribution looks fantastic and I think it's a very strong narrative. Also because Hoppy is not only the Knight Rider's frog, but it's also Matt Fury's first frog. A lot of people think Pepe was the first one, but Hoppy was actually created in 2004, whereas Pepe was created in 2005. So that's why I'm super bullish on Hoppy. However, if the narrative of the three frogs ends up pumping, then Fefe could do extremely well. And if you look at their X account right now, they're growing rapidly. They're up to 16.6k followers. Now, I do want to be clear. I don't know as though all of these are legit. It was at 10k a few days ago. So there's definitely a chance that some of these are bought. But if you look through their posts, they actually get decent engagement. But what's very important is that they post on here pretty much every single day. I say that all the time, but for a meme coin, that is extremely important. Because at the end of the day, your community is what is going to build hype around a project and hype is what is going to drive price action. So yeah, as usual, it's not like I'm trying to sell you on some super advanced technology. At the end of the day, this is a meme coin, so it's extremely high risk. But I recommend at least adding Fefe to your watch list. But while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I post in here pretty much every single day. And then I would also like to take a moment to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, and there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, this is going to give you guys closer access to me. You guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And we've been making some huge gains in here. 
For example, I had posted a buy alert for Hoppy at a $580,000 market cap on April 21st, and Hoppy ran up to over an $87 million market cap. That is around a 150X. Just to put that in perspective, if you guys had invested $1,000, your $1,000 would have been worth around $150,000. Those are life-changing gains to most people. So if this is the kind of stuff that sounds interesting to you guys, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building a very strong community. I'd love to see you guys in here. But again, all of these projects that I cover come with extremely high risk. It is very important that you always understand your own risk tolerance. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Fefe will go to this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.